Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sekiro Boss Guide. In this video, I'm taking on Juzu the Drunkard. This guy is in the Hirata Estate, the main hall. His main gimmicks are that he drinks poison and spits it at you or uses it to strengthen his blade. He does lots of big sweeping attacks. He likes to grab you. He's basically a big, fat, tough guy who likes to bully you. And he's got a lot of friends, which doesn't make this any easier. Want to know some tricks to fight this guy? Well, just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start a little bit of a ways back because there's some prep that's required to take this guy on. I'm a little bit before his arena. You have to pass through these gardens, this little uh, lake, water, pool area that's in the middle of the estate. Okay, so the main thing about this guy is he's got a bunch of friends, so we want to get rid of them first. Let me show you the most efficient path to take. So I'm going to go through this little side area. These two guys, if you take them out, then it won't alert the rest of them. So getting them first is a good idea. Another thing to know is that there is a, like, you have an ally that's waiting in the wings by the water who will come and help you if you either lure enemies over to him or if you talk to him, then he'll just run up and start attacking everybody. It's better to clear all the enemies out and then lure the boss over to him once they're all done. That'll make things a lot easier for you to actually fight this guy. Okay, now at this point, he gets found out. You, like, you, you, nothing you can do. You have to fight everybody. And there he is, Jozo the Drunkard. Now, don't focus on fighting him. Clear out all of his buddies. And then we can start actually thinking about a strategy for dealing with them. Thankfully, he's fairly slow, so he separates from his guys pretty quickly. So it shouldn't be too hard to thin out the herd. Okay, there he's doing one of his special attacks. That's where he breathes poison onto his sword, and now his sword has a poison effect. Not gonna worry about fighting him right now. Like, just, I'm not gonna do anything at all. Okay, let's see if he does his other poison attack. Now, it looks like he just charged up his sword again. But he does one where he breathes like a poison field in front of him that lingers for a little while, and if you stand in it, then you get poisoned. As you can see from his attacks, he likes to do big swinging attacks. Oh, there it is. See, like, big old cloud of poison. No, nope, fire doesn't get rid of it. Okay, so now that we've gotten rid of everybody, here's step two of my Jinzo killing plan. Or Juzo, or whatever his name is. Let's hide. Yes, it is possible that once the enemy boss has become aggroed on you, you can go and hide and then he will go back to normal. Like he won't, he'll stop chasing you. Some bosses, they never stop chasing you and some of them will do this. Most of them, like these kind of guys, will give up eventually. Or other ones, like they get worked up, they get excited the second you step into their arena. You really just have to kind of experiment to figure out which ones you can get a backstab on. This guy, we can. So let's do that. I'll make things a lot easier. So, sneak up on him. Yeah, he doesn't have very good situational awareness, so... Not too hard to sneak up on. Okay. So that take off pretty much half of his health. So when you're fighting him, this is a good time to attack. When he starts drinking his liquor, his poison, whatever, easy attack time. Okay, that's a swiping attack. You can jump over that, and then if you press, like, because you press the X button to jump over it, if you press that button again, then you'll do a bunch of posture damage to them. I'm still uh, a little fresh at this game. Okay, that's his grab, so you can't avoid that. He has a lot of pretty heavy attacks, so it's probably better, especially at this point in the game, while you're still kind of getting your sea legs about it. To just kind of keep your distance and, and do some hit and run. Alright, so. I lured him back. 
Now the samurai is going to fight him. Now we got two on one. At this point, uh, this guy is pretty much dead. If you try to like attack him head on, this guy will help you out immediately. But he'll pretty much die immediately as well. He'll just get sworn by all the goons that are around uh, the drunkard. And he pretty much will end up being useless. So let's put him to good use. Now that he's by himself, this guy can do a lot better. Forcing this guy to split his attention between us. Just, it, he makes him useless. He can't do anything. So, that's it. He's done. Now, the annoying thing about this guy is you get this unrefined sake. But that's it. <laughs> you don't get any prayer beads for beating him. Oh, there's a prayer bead. Okay, good. Okay, good. So, you get a prayer bead. Ooh. I don't know why I didn't think he did. Okay. So, awesome. Yeah, so those are the two main things you want to do with this guy. And then he's pretty easy. Get a death blow on him, sneak up on him, and then lure him over to the samurai guy. If you do both of those things, then he's pretty much dead in the water. He can't do anything. That's it for Juzu the Drunkard. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.